G'day guys, welcome back. Now on the bench today, we're gonna to have a look at another budget priced quadcopter or drone for review that I purchased off AliExpress. I bought this from the same vendor that I'd done the recent E88 Pro drone review. It's from the KBDFA store, and this one is called the P7 drone. Uh, this one does have Wi-Fi, FPV, just like the E88, but this also has obstacle avoidance sensors on the top, which I'll show you in a sec. Now, as you can see, it comes in basically the identical case as the E88 Pro that I reviewed the other week. If you missed the video on that one, I'll leave a pop-up link. Now, this P7 drone cost me $40 Australian, and that came with three batteries, as we can see here. We've got two here, one in the drone. Uh, so, yeah, this was $40 compared to the $30 I paid for the E88 Pro. Just have a quick look at it, guys. As you can see, it's very compact. It is foldable. On the top, we have this little box uh, with all the infrared sensors, the front, rear, and the sides. So it's got a 360-degree omnidirectional obstacle avoidance sensors here. As you can see, it says on the top, four-side avoidance. Okay. Uh, this one does have dual cameras. We've got an adjustable tilt camera on the front here, which can go down to basically a 90-degree angle. Okay. And uh, we also have the bottom optical flow sensor camera as well. I believe these are switchable via the app. All right. Now we can see we've got some folding arms here. And it's very lightweight. Uh, I'll put some specs up on the screen now of the actual dimensions of this drone. And um, you can get this in three different colors as well. You can get this orange one, a black one, or a gray one. On the side here, we've got the P7 Pro Max. That's the name of this particular little quadcopter. Okay, the Wi-Fi FPV module is on the bottom here. This does not have an SD card, much like the E88 Pro. Uh, it is Wi-Fi only, and you've got the little antenna just there. We've got some ventilation there, and the battery just pops out like this. Now, we have three batteries, just like the E88 Pro, and these batteries are actually identical to the E88 Pro. So you can actually use these batteries on that particular quadcopter as well. Once again, we got 3.7 volt 1S batteries. These are LiPos, uh, 1800 milliamp hour, and they're in a little modular casing. And we've got the charging port just there with a micro USB. So uh, let's uh, quickly turn it on. We've got the on button up the top here. And just like the E88 Pro, we've got some bright LED lights flashing on the front as well as some bright blue ones on the rear there, okay? There's no other ones on the arms, but uh, yeah, should be pretty decent for flying at night and I'll be able to see these during the day. I remember flying the E88 Pro the other week. I could clearly see the headlights during the day. So let's put that aside for a moment. Now we've got a bag here with some accessories, okay? We've got our USB charger here for your batteries. We also have a set of four propellers, okay? One just fell down, but you've got basically half set actually because these are two-piece props as you can see. So you've got half a set of propellers, a little screwdriver, Phillips head, and we also have four protector guards for your props. Now here is the transmitter, guys. We've got a fold-out uh, arms here for your phone. I actually like this design better than the E88 Pro. That one flick downwards but uh, you fit a pretty decent sized phone with these we've got our thumb uh, sticks here okay, you just push them on much like the DJI how DJI do it yeah, they uh, clip them into the uh, the actual little arms here all right so we've got our gimbal sticks now I'm not going to go through all the button layout guys what I'm going to do is put a screenshot up of all the controls for each button on screen now and you can check that out it tell you everything you need to know now on the back here we need to power this transmitter with three AA batteries which are not included and all that's left guys is the app uh, user manual here it's called the RC FPV app which is exactly the same app as the E88 Pro now I did have some problems with that on my Android phone uh, where it did boot me out but I will give it another go on this particular P7 Pro Max and see how I go um, 
I do have it downloaded on my phone already, so I will test it out to try to get some photos with it at least. Um, I did experience some issues with it though in the E88 Pro review, and we've got, once again, a quick start guide, uh, user manual here, guys, and everything you need to know is there. Okay, guys, so before I take this P7 Pro Max quadcopter out for its first flight, I'll just let you know that this does have altitude hold. We can do 360 flips, one key takeoff and landing, and also has headless mode, and of course the optical flow on the bottom there. All right, guys, so anyway, let's head out to the field. We'll take this out for a first flight, and we'll see how it performs. Okay, guys, well, I've got the P7 Pro quadcopter here. I've already bound it to the transmitter, and as you can see, I've got Wi-Fi FPV just there. All right, so what I might do, I'll take a few photos first before I start flying it. Now, uh, to set the gyros, I'll just show you how to do that. It's two sticks down and out, and you'll see it flash, all right, to keep it the level of the uh, gyroscope. So what I'll do, I'll take a few photos here before I take it for a flight. Take one there. Give you a look of the camera quality. Okay, we'll do one over here as well. Okay, so let's take it up for a flight, guys. This is the P7 Pro Max. Take it up. Okay. What I'll do first. I'll start a recording. There we go, we should be recording. Actually what I might do first, I'll bring it down because I wanna actually angle the camera upwards. So I'll stop that recording. You can adjust this camera by, by hand. Just have it tilted upwards a bit. So when it pitches down like that, you'll be able to see the actual, uh, you won't be seeing the ground when I pitch forward. That's better. All right, so we're in first rate. Now I'm not having any problems with the app this time. Like I did with the P, what was it, the E88. Pro. This is run on the same app, RCFPV. So hopefully we get some recording in the gallery this time with this uh, little quadcopter. But we're in rate well, one. Step it up rate two. Flies really nice and smooth as you can see here. Nice. Take it up a bit. There's a little bit of a breeze up there, but uh, it's not too bad. Just cruise around. So we're still recording, which is great. I'm not doing the screen recording on this uh, this video, so I'll just save that. Bring it in. See if we can do some flips. There we go. Start recording again. Okay, so this one does multi-directional flips, unlike the E88 Pro, they only done rolls. This one does the rolls and the flips. Okay, it didn't do the front flip, but it did do a back flip. Well, let's try that again. Yeah, it does a back flip. Let me try a front flip. No, it doesn't do front flips, all right. Third rate. 
Uh, she's pretty quick. Really nice fly, guys. <laughs> Much like the E88 Pro. Very similar quadcopter. Great one for beginners. So what I might do is change the camera, see if it will record the downward facing camera, bring it above me, you can see the ground. I'm glad this app is working well today, uh, I had no luck with the E88 Pro on this same phone. Which leads me to believe that I might have just got a dud as far as the Wi-Fi module on that uh, on that quadcopter. Okay, now this is supposed to have automatic takeoff and land. Let's press this button here. Oh, didn't do much. I think this one might be headless. Might have to hold it down. It's all right. But you've got headless mode. You've got uh, one key return and all that sort of thing. Okay, guys. So I think I actually, let me just land it for a second. Just turn that off. I think I just turned the uh, obstacle avoidance on. Let me just check. Yeah, so it's flashing. And I've turned it off. All right, so let's check the obstacle avoidance. All right, so let's try that obstacle avoidance setting. Okay, so let's pull up in the air. Might take a recording. I'm gonna press, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna press that button. See the lights are flashing? It's meant to be in obstacle avoidance mode. And it doesn't seem to be working out here in the sunlight. Let me try that again. It is infrared sensors, so it might just be an indoors thing. Yeah, probably. Let's uh, try against this wall maybe nope maybe in the shade here okay let me just turn that down all right it did look like it was just tilting a fraction but i'm not too sure how good this uh sensor is guys whoop Nah, okay, before I break it, I'll just give that a miss. It doesn't seem to be working that great. It actually drifted then, so I'm going to turn that off. Okay, I'm going to recalibrate it. Okay, let's just take it for a flight again. I'm going to set the... Set it in third rate. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that obstacle avoidance, guys. Uh, it didn't seem to want to work out in the sun. Might just be an indoors thing. But as you can see, it didn't seem to work that great. Didn't really expect it to. <laughs> I had another quadcopter, very cheap one like this, a while back. And it worked okay at home. Not too bad, but uh, when I did test it out on camera, it didn't work at all either, so. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Um, pretty much a little bit of a gimmick on these uh, toy grades. They're not going to be like a DJI, you know, obstacle avoidance sensor. They're just infrared sensors. I think the sun affects it quite a bit. So, but yeah, nice flyer. I mean, this is a great one to uh, learn on, much like the E88 Pro, like I mentioned. 
definitely if you want to learn how to fly this is a, a great option being that it's a low cost drone around 30 dollars us i think i paid close to 40 australian so around 30 us roughly give or take a few dollars and uh three batteries uh, it's got gesture uh like a tracking Tracking setting. It's just sitting there nicely. Look at that. When I press that tracking setting there. I'll get out of that. But this has got a uh, optical flow sensor on it. There's quite a few settings to go through on this one, guys. I've got heaps of icons here. I'm not going to be able to keep an eye on it and <laughs> try to keep an eye on my phone. I think a lot of these are to do with flying it with your phone. I might uh, do a follow-up video and see how it goes flying uh, this quadcopter with my phone in another video. Yeah, great flyer. Yeah, it looks like we've got LVC now. All right. Slowly bring it down. Oh, there we go. I think that's the flight time, guys. It just uh, lands rather quickly like the E88 Pro that I reviewed the other week. Let's uh, finish that recording. So there we have it, guys. This is the P7 Pro Max they're calling it on the side here. This is a drone that I bought from AliExpress for around 30 US dollars. It's not a bad little quadcopter for the price. I mean, if you want to learn how to fly a drone and you know not hurt your wallet at all this is a really good option you're going to get three batteries with it the app does work rather well with this one um, i'm actually quite pleased that uh, i had no issues with the app it flies really well nice and smooth definitely a good one to learn on you've got two cameras front and the bottom one that one acts as a optical flow sense as you can see at times it was just hovering there on on its own uh, without moving that much so uh, it definitely does work as far as the obstacle avoidance sensor um, i wouldn't rely on them you know they are just infrared sensors it doesn't look like it will work great in the sunlight i didn't see much movement when i put my hand up to it as you can see during this video and uh, it didn't seem to work that well in the shade either it did glitch a little bit to go away from the wall at one point but not enough for it to uh, actually avoid the wall so i wouldn't uh rely on it by any means uh just have fun with this one if you do purchase it you know just get used to flying a drone if you're new to the drones that's what this one is basically intended for uh beginner flies so if you want to see some more detailed specs on this one and the prices and the different packages i'll leave a link in the description below where you can get this one from the uh, aliexpress vendor which i purchased this one from all right guys so until next time guys enjoy the hobby happy flying and uh, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. So have a great day, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.